Hi, my name is Colleen Moran and I'm with Compassionate Sioux Falls. Compassionate Sioux Falls is a city initiative that encourages people to act with compassion. And it also recognizes individuals, groups, and organizations who show compassion in our community. I'm really proud today to have with me Donnie Stoltz, who has certainly acted with compassion for a very long time, even though he's only 14 years old. Thanks for being here, Donnie. Thanks for having me. Sure. So tell us a little bit about how you got started with being compassionate in our community. Um, when I was eight years old, I was just watching TV with my mom like any other summer day. And uh, we saw this section about a guy um, doing nice things for people in his community. And then I turned to my mom and said, hey, that's a pretty cool idea. We should do something like that. So then we started um, Project Downey, where we do nice things in our community, like Kids Against Hunger. Um, so was it with organizations that had already been started? So you just joined them? Um, so basically, like Kids Against Hunger would have been already started and you joined up with them? Yeah, we just did like a little thing. I like the Avera thing right by um, Lewis and Little Caesars. Oh, sure. And like, um, that's where like we would put other foods in little baggies and then send them off to third world countries. Oh, cool. So did you do any other projects? Yeah, uh, we collected some toys for St. Francis House and um, we basically just went around collecting some kids' toys. To give to those kids who might not otherwise have them. Yeah. And from Project Donnie, it has turned into Donnie's Closet? Yeah. How'd that happen? Um, I had a pair of basketball shoes that I have outgrown and um, I turned to my mom and said, well, we didn't know what to do with the shoes, so I turned to my mom and said, why don't we collect everybody's basketball shoes and give them away? Is that what you did then? Yeah, we had a collection event. Did you hold it like at a school or where did you have uh, it? We held it at Rainbows, Cards, Comics, and Collectibles, okay. like outside in their driveway. How did you get people notified that they should come and give their shoes? Um, we sent a thing out on Facebook and uh, we asked the owner of Rainbow to like put a poster up, I guess. So then after that collection day, did you have pretty good luck? Did a lot of people come and give shoes? Yeah, we had a lot of people come and give us skis and snowboards and tennis shoes and um, baseballs, anything. So it grew from shoes to sporting equipment, basically. Yeah. Then where did you decide that you would take this stuff? You know, once you had it collected, what was the next step? Um, once we had it, we just put it in our garage because we had no other place to put it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did people and how do people know how to ask for things that you might have that they need? Um, we have our own Facebook page and we have our own email. It's Donnie's Closet Project at gmail.com. So somebody right now could email you and say, I'm looking for size 10 basketball shoes. Do you have any? Yeah. And what if you don't have any? Then we send out a thing on Facebook and see if anybody else has them. And then they come to your garage and well, drop them off or what happens? Well, either, yeah. We either pick them up or, we, or they bring it to us and then we give it to the person who needs them. So it's sporting equipment, is that the only thing that you collect for people? Basically, yeah. Are there some other uh, things people might ask for, for kids, like bikes or books or something like that? Uh, yeah, we do collect bikes and helmets and uh, shin guards, I guess. Things that people would need to be able yeah. to ride a bike. Um, what, well, let me ask you about, I know that people have recognized you for your good work. Um, as as they should, but I know there was something with ESPN that you got involved with, I think, last summer. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it was like a competition of how much 
stuff you could collect in mm -hmm. a certain amount of time. And we got fourth place. That's great. So it was every anybody from across the country could participate? Yeah. And you got fourth place out of everybody who participated. Good for you. Did you get to go somewhere? No. Oh, dang. So you didn't get to like fly off to ESPN no. or anything? I wish. Yeah. Um, but was it a good experience? Yeah, it was a really fun thing to do. So if there's other uh, people your age who want to get involved in the community or want to do something for the community, what would you suggest to them? I would suggest like um, do what they love doing, whether it's sports to computers to playing basically whatever they like doing and try and get other people involved with it. And that's great. That's great advice because there's a lot of need in our community and I'm really proud that you're in our community and you're helping fill that need. Thanks so much for sharing your story with us today. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. If you want to find out a little bit more about uh, Donnie's cl Closet, we'll give you that information at the bottom of the screen. The same with Compassionate Sioux Falls. If you have more interest in Compassionate Sioux Falls, we'd like you to join us. We'd like you to contact us. If you have other, anyone that you want to nominate to be in a video or to win an award, you can find that information also at the bottom of the screen.